Marauders fans, Mr. Talon here, letting you know before the video begins, we do indeed have Marauders apparel on sale, hoodies and t-shirts, the logo right there as well, guys. For all of those who choose to support, I want to say thank you very much and enjoy the video. Ladies and gentlemen of Talon Squad, welcome back to another WB, B, WBE battle, good against no Nexus and the Pittsburgh Peaches. Now, my squad's over there, ready to go, his squad is over there, we're going to see what our man Nexus actually brings, and then correct the layer from there, but for now... We're nervous to sell Steeler and what kind of Nidda Queen he's bringing. I don't think he can afford to bring a Scarf Nidda Queen. I feel like he's going to bring a glorious, bulky Nidda, uh, Nidda, uh, Nidda Queen. So, let me get away with her. We got double Scarf. We got Scarf Bulu, Scarf Nidda King. It's juicy. It's good to go. The squad's right here. Let's get it, my friends. I don't even know what weekends. I've been over my record into this league. Dude, I've been all over the place. So I might have a very busy weekend. I had some issues with this when I connected the battle spot for no reason last night. So we're doing the battle, uh, or was it two days ago? Doing the battle on Monday now, which is today, which is like right now, as you can tell. So, I cannot even tell you what week it is. But my biggest concern of this team, I'm not too scared of Celeste. Like Heat Ran, Fire Punch, Nidda King, and even late game liquidation from Sharpedo should be more than enough to take care of this, uh, to this uh, Celesteela. However, things like Forges, the Lax not bringing them yet, so I dropped it. Uh, might be a problem. So we're going to see what happens with my man's uh, Nexus here. See what he actually brings. Let me get my damage calculator ready. Put it on singles and not doubles. Don't get any calcs wrong. There we go. We're on singles now. Alright, put that like this. Minimize. Open this real quick. Minimize this real quick. And we shall be good to go, amigos. My man, Nexus. Whew. And I think Sigla's pretty solid this week. We don't have any we don't have any removal. Unless I put Defog. I might be Defog Roost. No, I'm Combine Roost. Heat Wave Psychic. So like no removal on my end. However, knowing that if he has Nidda Queen, I gotta lead his anti-rocker, cause he's gonna say. Well, maybe not, because he's going to say, you know what, you have Defog on your Sigilyph, but I don't. I have no removal at all. I'm hoping, because his only rocks are uh, in the form of the Nidoqueen. And I believe, and, oh, Azelf, he has Azelf. I got that really fast Azelf. Ah, Alright, I don't know what's taking so long, but hopefully everything's A-OK. -okay. Says, good luck. Alright, beautiful, very good, very nice, cute, 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 blah, blah, blah. There he goes, alright. The moment of truth. What squad is he bringing, my friends? What has he got? What has he got? What has he got? Celestina Galate Florges. Uh, yes! No Snorlax. Yes! 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 Nina Queen Rotomo. Uh, no surprise. Alright, Blaze King, get out of here, buddy. You gotta go. Remove. Oh, wait, yeah, yeah. Remove. Blaze King. Uh, Florges here. No Lax. Give it a Lax. Remove. That's the wrong one. Remove Lax. Alright, Lax is that is there A's off? No A's off either. Thank the Lord, my friends. Alright, no A's off. Get it out of here. No Hydreigon. Get that out of here. Beautiful. Jellicent, move here. Uh, Float Soul, no surprise. You're not coming. Get him out of here. Not Gallade. Float Soul. Not Gallade. Float Soul. Get rid of Float Soul. Come on, we can do it. We can do it. We can do it, OBS. We can do it, OBS. It's not that hard. There we go. There we go, move floats. All right, that's a squad right there for me. His only stealth rock user is indeed Nidda Queen. I can just go with Sharpedo right off the bat, scare him out of there. Even on my Lodica picks, I I had the glorious Mirror Coat. You know what? I'm gonna go Mirror Coat, my Lodic, right off the bat. Get me a flipper right away. That is gonna be the lead, my friends. If you go so soon, I doubt you will, but if you do, we'll see what happens. However, it's game time. Marauders! Pichu, weak, whatever it may be, Town Squad, let's get a good battle going and get back in that win column in the WBE, because last week got smacked by A-Drive 6-0, was going great, but then that Gyarados came out, like, oh, he had Iron Head for the Bulu, that was a wrap, man, free dances for days, anyway, my loading, Uzi, who's Uzi, we got Tubbs as Nidoqueen. Queen, yup, now, I'm going to go for a Fat Scald right off the bat, but I think it's going to be scared. I should get a burn. Should easy. You might go into, might go into the, uh, the, what do you call it, though? You might go into the Jellicent. If you do, that's all right. You get the Water Absorb. We never get any HP back. However, a burn on Nidoqueen Queen will be huge. Just go for that. Not go a Miracle turn one, as you might indeed go for Rocks here. I'm hoping my luck is going to scare you out and not go for Rocks. I would like to see. Yeah, exactly. Jellicent kind of coming. Yep. That's got to be Jellicent. No, it's Florges coming in, catching a Scald. A fat bird would be nice, but you probably have aromatherapy. So, also, let me know the mic volume, my bad, guys. Whatever, quick before I forget. 
Already a little too late, but you guys love me anyway. Oh, nope, I already did. Look at me. Look at me ahead of the game. We do get the bird. Nope, I'm sorry. That's a bird on me. <laughs> All right, this guy comes in. Uh, I can heat him for days right now. I think we should put hidden power grounds. If it was me, I was going to bring hidden power grounds. But I think he's going to go like a moon blast or something like that. I don't know what he's going to do. I'll bring in my heat right here. Try to get my rocks up. Try to kill. Like I said, we might catch a glorious hidden power grounds here. Let's see. Heat Ram ready for action. Come on, my lord. That's a come on. It's got to have Hidden Power Ground, my lord. Otherwise, you wouldn't be doing that. All right. Portage of Nidoking's got to come and clutch. Lefties are real. Do I have run this thing or no? I think I have three attacks. I have Flash Cannon, yeah. But now he's, like, setting up. Uh, let's go Flash Cannon and get him in uh, Portage Jab range. If not, it's just out here because he's have Power Grounds. So he's contemplating right now. Does he have Roar? Does he go for Stealth Rock? Because if he doesn't have a pair of grounds, I think if he had hit a pair of grounds, he would have got up. Yeah, exactly. He has a pair of grounds. Full up. All right. Poor Jim should be able to kill you. Here comes hit a pair of grounds. Yep, there it is. Shuck a berry, though. All right. All right. What do I do to counter this? Hit a pair of grounds hurts Nidoking, King, obviously. Uh, Sigma's immune. You can come on right back and Psy Shock. So I'm gonna do that. Bring in Sigliff, counteract, go for my own combines. Psy Shock Heat kills the whole entire team. Whole entire team, team dies to Psy Shock Heat Wave. I'm going for it. You best believe I'm going for it. Now that I know his combines, hidden power grounds, probably like protect Wish. Defog maybe? Defog's thrown in there? I should be A okay. Go in a power ground again. Do it. Do it. I dare you. Go again. Go again for daddy. Moonblast. Yeah, he's not dumb. He's not dumb. Oh, way too much. The attack is dropping. Yeah. Not what we need there. Not what we need there at all. Not what we need there at all. Might bring a Nidoking King now. Good, good reading this part. Good reading this part. Uh, I might just see lift drop. Or I might roost here. I guess I'm more lefties. If it gets a drop, but then the king resists, get poison jab. Then he brings in the uh But it's no physical. It is no physical. I think he's gonna moon blast again. I'm gonna bring in Nidoking. King. I'm gonna get a little aggressive here. I'm gonna bring in the Nidoking King and get ready for a poison jab. He doesn't know that I'm physical. So I'll just stay in and take it. Nah. Nah. We resist. Alright, good job, Nether King. Good job. Now, poison jab to a combine thing over here. I mean, I'm just assuming, like, everything's A. Okay, I'm Scarf Adamant. Nether King. Adamant. None. 252. Poison jab. The Lorges. Oh yeah, God. Going for it. Going for it. See what he does. If he switches out, if he switches out so be it. It is what it is. Nothing I can really do about it. Uh, but I think I should be alright. Kill Forger here. Get back in this game. Good to go. Save Sigliff as well. Big trade. Big trade in this. Keep Sigliff alive and killing the Florges. Shuckle Fairy's got to reach sucks. Uh, but yeah. There it is, baby. There it is. There it is, baby. Big KO. Get him out. Get him out. Physical Nidda King. You're damn right, Nexus. You're damn right, baby. So I forgot to put my nicknames on. Fluff. My boy Vepsis right here. Putting in that big work. Big work. Massive KO. Feeling so damn good. Adamant push jab to the jaw. Bring in Celesteela. Just kidding. You don't do that because you don't know what the hell item I am. Gallade. I got my loader for this thing, but you probably know it's gonna go swords is that I just cry a thousand tears. However, my loader is always a switch in for this bad boy, so my loader kid is, fam. My loader kid is. He's gonna go Zen Headbutt. He might miss it. He's gonna Mega Evolve, or maybe he won't Mega Evolve. Who knows? Before, I mean, I already, I already confirmed my, my loader because that's my play every time. 
Uh, Mega Gallade. Let's just see what Poison Jab does to him. For future reference. 60 to 71. Nice. Nice, 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 nice. Assuming it's Jolly and Max Attack Speed Gallade, which it should be. So, like... Yeah, I'm alright right now. I'm alright right now. I'm alright. My loads are getting there, Tubbs! Mega Evolving. I also have Scarfed uh, Bulu as well. I didn't know that yet. But killing that Forge like that was incredible. Really, really good for us. That's gonna do Jack Diddly Do. And if I was saying I'd bring Jellicent here, I would 196% bring in Jellicent. And I really want to bring in Bulu, knowing that. But if you stand an Ice Punch again, that's really bad for me. Really bad for me. Also, Rotomosa thing. Bulu is... Nature's Manitou, Power, Hornish, Woodhammer, Scarf. Adamant as well. I could bring in Siglif, actually. Get a free uh, Roost. But he's gonna, then he's going to go Shadow Ball. It hurts a lot. Wish I had Dragon Tail. Or he might stand and go Swords Dance. I don't know. I'm gonna try to scold. I'm just gonna play it safe. Don't get too zesty here. With Drew. Cash money. Jealous that it is. I was right. I could have switched out, but like I said, I gotta play it safe, take it easy. Confirm he has water absorb. There it is. Alright, now. What the hell does this thing do? Imagine, does he have hex? That'd be great if he does. I'll go recover here. See what he does to me. Another calm mon would be really bad here, but I don't expect to see calm mons. He might go Willow, try to catch Sharpedo, or uh, even the Bulu here. So that's why I'm saying I'm already burnt, doesn't matter. Um, best case scenario goes Hex, confirms he has Hex, sees all that damage, gets excited, then I go Miracle to just smack his ass. That'd be great. All right, recover goes off. Back to full. Let's see what he does. Scalds! Yeah. Short. Short, short, short. Scald would kill my stupid Ziggler, though, which really sucks. He's going to fish for a Scald Burn. Don't want to reveal Miracote. I really want to bring him Bulu. He knows that. Uh, I can't Scald him. I was like an Ice Beam trying to freeze him. I'm going to do that. I'm going to go Ice Beam. I'm going to play it very safe right now. I don't want to get too aggressive anymore. I got really aggressive with the Nidoking. King. It worked out, but I don't want to push my uh, push my buttons too much, you know? Stay burned. Do my thing. Get the Ice Beam off. See what he does. Maybe I freeze him. Squad Defrost, but... Too out of me, yes. Yeah, he's locked in for that burn. He's locked in for that burn. All right, he's left into that burn, uh, which means Siglif, you gotta go, buddy. Gonna sack off the Siggy. Don't wanna risk that burn at all. Goodbye, Siglif. Oh, all right, even better. Even better. Even better. I think myself the whole guys. You gotta hear a little static. I apologize. There we go. That sounds better. All right. Sounds a lot better. Hit that roost. See if he goes Shadow Ball. This guy's pure wall. That didn't, that didn't, I thought I was going to die there. Let me fix the layout real quick. We're Gucci, man. We're still up. And I switched it into a burn, so it's really good. That is, that I like, oh, he's going to withdraw. Wow. All right. Vooter. Rotomo. Sure. I got a combine off here. Do I have speech? Maybe. He's got to be like Scarf or something. There's no way. So I'm the, I have speed, but he's probably max speed. Because his walls are jealous and forges. This seems to be like a speedy. Speedy Gonzalez over here. I could bring in the Nether King. But I kind of want to really get Zessie and Shikobo Combines here. That's what I really want to do. Because he might go Volt Switch, or he might go like at least or put the Nidoking, get your free combo. I'm going to do that. I think he's going to call Nidoking. He's been printed already. He's going to call Nidoking. Or even Heat Ran, just go Volt Switch. 
I could have a Volt Switch if you're not like Modest Scarf. If you go T Bolt, I'm dead. Assuming you're Scarf. If you're bulky, like I said, I think your walls are Nita Queen Forges, which is dead, or Jellicent Forges. Killing that Forges was great though, man. I needed that, dude. I needed that so badly. That was huge. Two bird Pokemon, they don't do nothing because uh, Nita Nita uh Mother doesn't care. There it is. All right, he's definitely like modest or whatever. It's all good. Could have brought a Nidoking, but uh, I really thought he was gonna call Nidoking and go Leaf Storm. I need Nidoking more than Sigilyph, so it's all right. Still have plenty of ways to get through Sales Dealer. Plus, I have him at the now, not him. This takes me a because he's gotta bring in his mod first now. I mean, sure I get the option of what I wanna bring in. It's gonna be Nidoking. I can bring a Sharpedo here, see if you're Scarfed. I'm gonna do just that. I need to find if you're Scarfed or not. I wanna see what you do. I'm gonna protect. Not make it out just yet. I need my speed for the Gallade and the, uh, Rotomo. Assuming he's Scarfed. I don't know what he's gonna be though. Like, I'm gonna protect here. Obviously, his EV switch is uh, not jealous, I got his crunch, but his EV switch is like Rotom Mo or Celesteela. Mega Sharpedo can't do much here. Oh, I'm sorry, not Meganium. Sharpedo. Mega is gonna withdraw. Yeah, it's gonna bring in Celesteela, right? Alright, jealous. He's gotta have. He's gotta have. So he's scared. I don't think he's scarfed. Crunch kills, but like. He's gonna have a Cobra Berry or something. Crunch still kills. Gotta have a Cobra Berry. There is zero reason why he does this. Absolutely zero reason why he does this. Absolutely zero reason why he does this. That Cobra Berry. What does he do to me? Will O Wisp? Possibly miss it? Even max defense bold, he still dies. He's gotta be Colber. Cause he doesn't have lefties. He's gotta be Colber Berry. There's no reason why he's not Colber Berry right here. And like, I resist Shadow Ball and Water. It's gotta be like, a Willow. Is the burn really worth the damage on this thing? Like, who's my switching? I bring in Bulu, get Risk of Bird on him as well. I'm just gonna go for it. If it's Cobra, sure. I'll still do, like, a good amount. Let's see to be exact. Overhead. And then, like, if he misses Willow, I'm in great shape. It's exactly what it is. Yeah, we knew this was happening. We knew this was happening. Big damage, and what does he do here? Yep, I was right. I called it perfectly. I called it perfectly, dude. Called it perfectly, dude. And now how much I do with him burns? I knew that. I knew it. I knew that was gonna happen. I knew it. I knew it. I knew it. He still dies to a crunch, so I'll take another free crunch here. That was risky, dude. If he misses that Willow, the whole play is just ruined. And I kill I, I big damage on everybody. Worked out for him though. Like I said, I called it. But uh at the same time, who else can I afford to get burnt? Like, I bring in Heat Rain there, I get a free boost, and then what do I do? Flash Cannon? Like, Earth Power at plus one? I think I'm alright with this. I still get a crunch, damage on self body, pot potential defense drop. I'm okay with this. He's gonna bring in Gallade. Which is fine. Wagon. Celestia so, comes in. See what item he has. Lucky's, no surprise. Alright. I feel like it might go like leech you to something. I might just stay in and put him at fire punch range. Sharpedo can't do much anymore. My answer for the Queen is my Lodic. Just is already in kill range. Uh, Gallade though, Gallade though. 
I have scarfers. I'm all right. I'll crunch a oh, liquidate. Both get defense drops. Crunch is more obviously a strong draw, but like. I don't see what he does, to be honest, man. He might protect, he might go leech seed. Heavy semi resist. Flamethrower, I resist. He goes like sub, though. There's a defense drop, baby! EQ, sure. Did literally nothing. And I got good damage of this thing right now. Like, even being burnt, the damage is so real. Do it again. I'll die to EQ, whatever, but it is what it is. And he might just have to Nidder Queen. If I do, it's great. It's a free crunch on it. Big damage. If he goes to the Glade, eh. But I got speed again. I liquidate. Like, I still have that speed boost as well. All right, he's got to be going for Protect now, dude. He's got to be going for Protect. He's gonna go like protect here. He's going protect here. He's gotta go protect here. He's gotta go protect here. And then I get a free play. I'll bring a Cell Stealer. I mean, I'll bring in Heat Ran. Getting very risky right here again. Let's see what he does though. Let's see what he does. Yep. All right, flamethrower from Heat Ran should kill. Yeah. I'm not fully invested though. Hold the phone. Sixty. Flamethrower. 59 to 70, assuming you're like Spadef Seller Stealer. Oh, uh, you're still like, you're like 52 right now. I think I kill it. I'll go Flamethrower here. Cannot speed me. Yeah, you're out of here. Exactly. Uzi, here comes the. Nidda Queen catching a flamethrower. Pretty good damage. It's revealed that she's bulky. Yes. All right. This is where I stack off Sharpedo. And then bring in. Ah, uh, I can't go Nidda Queen. Nidda King. How do I kill this thing, dude? How do I kill this thing? Heat ran is needed big time. He might go like sludge bomb, dude. I want to bring in the Bulu so bad. So bad. Is Sharpedo really worth anything to me right now? Obviously, SP Zinda Queen gets a liquidate off on it, which is really good for me. Really good for me. Heat ran dies to Gallade. Walls wrote him. Assuming he's hit, assuming he's hit the fire grounds. Might finish with Joseph with the Earth Power. Outsped by Nidda Queen. Unless Nidda Queen's min speed. Hold on. I would outspeed Nidda Queen by one point if it's not min speed. Get an Earth Power off on it. big chunk ain't gonna kill though I think it's just worth the sack off the Sharpedo here I think it is I want to say it is I'm gonna sack off Sharpedo see what he does Alright, Sharpedo's dead. 
and it's a crit. Thank God it's on him. Thank God it. Thank God it's on him. Beautiful. All right. Can I do anything to sell a Steela and a Queen? Not really. I could bring in Bulu and go for like a Horn Leech. I'm gonna bring in Bulu here. My Scarf Bulu just comes in. Uh, Horn Leech can kill. Whenever it definitely kills. It's crazy how much weaker Horn Leech is. I should go Woodhammer. He's gonna bring in Celesteela or Rotom, obviously, but... Yeah, once I kill Celesteela, Bulu can just wreck. Bulu can just wreck. And Woodhammer's gonna hurt no matter what he brings. Like, even Celesteela coming in? 21 to 24 percent. So never mind. I lied about that. <laughs> All right. Uh, yeah. Is it bringing Celeste Steel here? I can't risk this. Just made us out because if you stay, don't think I'm scarfed yet. Goodbye, dude. Get that out of here. Beautiful, huge KO. Exactly why I couldn't risk it. Exactly why, right there. And then the queen is gone. Huge KO. Bulu get some HP back. And you don't know if I'm scarfed or not. You have no idea if I'm Scarf because I could be a max speed Bulu. But I think it's safe to assume that I'm max Scar, I'm max speed Bulu. I mean Scarf, Scarf Bulu. Now what do you do? Now what do you do? I think Celesteela comes in and goes like, something annoying. Ah, oh, man. Celestia's a pain in the ass, though, dude. There it is. Probably heavy slams me or something. Could bring my Lord try to Scald Burn it. I'm gonna get leech seated or heavy slammed. Uh, but it is what it is. It is what it is. There it is, baby. One of the So it's leech seed protect, earthquake, heavy slam, I believe. Getting all that HP back, man. Now you might bring in a Jealous, which is really bad for me. I'll recover. It's cash money coming in. Yep. This is where I wish I had the, uh, what do you call it? Dragon Tail, but it's alright. Alright, now he might go like... Will always. Let me see which a plus one heat ram does here. Heat ram. Jealous said pure physical wall. That's the death at all. Plus one. Sixty. Earth power is thirty-four to forty. Not enough. Not enough to kill. Not even close. Not even close. You could try to burn Bulu, but even if it does, like, if I bring in Bulu to get burnt, you bring in Celesteela, like, what do I do then? What do I do then? Like, getting rocks up ain't gonna matter that much, like. I'm gonna bring in Heat Ram. I'm gonna call the Willow or something. Plus 
Plus would be great. Would be great. Sludge wave. Okay, beautiful. Sludge wave for the Bulu. Wow. All right. Little by little, HP's coming back. I guess the Lurks can help. I'm gonna go Rocks here. Why not? Skull ain't gonna do that much to me. I'm a special wall. I'll be all right. This thing's not invested. Can't Willow. So you have Scald, Sludge Wave, Willow, Recover. Get the rocks up. Scald it is. So two more. Two more and I die. Grass is gone. Does Nidoking King have Throat Chop? I think it does. Yes, he does. That's what I want to check. All right, let's see here. Nidoking. 252. Adamant. No item. Throat Chop. Jellicence. Max Defense. Bold. Oh, not a lot at all. What about Poise Jab? Nada. Throat Chop is my only answer here. Which is not a lot of damage, though. Yeah, he's pretty bulky. He's pretty good against me. Fluff. Um... Should get the Earth Power off. I got another Heat Rain drop. Really sucks. Kind of the Nidiki to kill Celeste Dealer. Nice chunk. Scald it is. 10 HP. Do I Earth Power again or switch out? He might recover, so I'm trying to go for Earth Power. Really sucks losing Heat Rain. Maybe I get a crit. Yep, he has a cover. Alright. That's my chance of bringing Bulu. That sucks. I'm gonna do it now. I'm gonna bring a Bulu now. This is, this, is, this is make or break right here. This is make or break right here. Does he go Sludge Wave? I think he does. Obviously, Woodhammer kills this thing. Tapu Bulu. Even a Hornage decimates. And he knows that. Even a max defense gets slaughtered. I'm gonna just manage to sell a steal, hopefully. Yep. Who's this? Wagon. Fine. Take some rock damage. It's just madness. Have it. Beautiful. And now it's just like, ah, what do I do? You might just go EQ to try to kill the heat ram. Obviously, I like the Ninja just Madness. I can't do much here. Bring in my Lodic. Try to catch the uh, Jellicent off guard. Bring in my Lodic. Get that going. Heavy Slam goes off. Ain't gonna do Jack. He's only getting lefties back. He's only getting lefties back. And if he goes Leech Jedi Superpower, I can kill, kill Celesteel. Let me just see. Does Superpower kill Celesteel? It could. It really could. Really could. Alright, see. Does he bring in the, the uh, Jellicent or no? Nah? Alright. Better believe him going Superpower right here. 
I have no idea what kind of EVs he has, though. Losing this thing would really suck. It's like right in the range, man. Depending on what his deep defensive EVs are. 37 to 45. Celesteela, assuming it's like... I don't know what the hell to assume, though. I have no idea what the hell to assume. Going for it. What are the choices I got? What are the choices I got? Damn, dude. He's bulky as hell. Oh, goodbye, Bulu. It's a free defense drop. Goodbye. This going be game now. Damn it. Oh, well. Oh, he ran's gone too. My bad, my bad, my bad. Right, bring a Nidda King. Like, if I kill Celestia, I can win this game. That's the best part. But I like, I gotta go Fire Punch. I have, I have still a few, I'm sorry, I still have Heat alive. Heat Rain's still alive. Almost positive he's gonna protect here. Almost positive he's gonna try to scout me out. So I'm gonna bring in my heat ran here. Yep, beautiful. Now I get a free attack on somebody. Now he's gonna bring in Jellicent. I'm gonna go flamethrower hit the Jellicent. Bad shape. Good battle though, but bad shape for me. I think I needed the Enchow, man. Knock off Enchow would have been great in this match. Oh, maybe not. Go to take some HP back. I thought that was obviously not going to work. Making sure it's as high as possible. Try Earth Power in. But I, I gotta go flip the case it stays in. He gets Sessie stays in. I gotta try to burn Jellicent, maybe. He's still in Fire Punch range. Oh, he stayed in. See? Beautiful! We can win this game now. We can win this game now. Let's go. That was big. That was really good for us. Get that Celesteela out of here, man. Beautiful. We could sort of kind of win this game now. Depends on how I get jealous, of, honestly. Really depends on how we get jealous. Of. Adamant and the King is just not enough. Adamant. No life orb. Uh, poison jab. The rope chop. Uh, drill run, which is not affected by the terrain. And my last move, fire punch. Which I don't even need anymore. All right. Jellicent, max defense. He comes in. Uh, do I save Heat Ran? Yeah, in case the story is something, I'll just I'll just go for it. A flamethrower here. No reason to switch out. Flamethrower goes off, and I just uh yeah, that's it. See, see, and I'm scarfed, dude. And I'm scarfed. See, on the Nidda King. Burn him. Oh man, if we got that burn. We got that burn of the flamethrower goes off. Goodbye. He's not gonna do it again. So goodbye to Heat Ran. He's gotta kill me now. He's gotta kill me now. Alright. 
Nidor King comes in. Goes for a poison jab, correct? Forty-seven to fifty-seven percent. Yep, bring in Nidder King. What else can I do? What else can I do? And then on Jealous Sand, this is doing nada, dude. Max Defense Bolds. I really wish I could throw chop here, I really do. I'm gonna go poison jab. Just let it happen. Goodbye to the Glade! Ah oh, man, if only I had flipping uh what do you call it? If he brings a Rotom here, he's confirmed scarf. He knows I'm scarf now. He knows I'm Scarf now. If only I killed a Jealous too. If only I got that too. My own little Zetsiness cost me this game, I think. Good game though. Good game though. Definitely not a bad game. I'm not upset with this. Solid game all around for sure. Man, I can still win. If only you weren't at full health, dude. If you weren't at full health, oh, be on Cloud 9 right now, dude. Cloud nine right now, dude. So he's gonna go Leaf Storm. But if he's not Scarfed, dude, he's gotta be Scarfed. He's gotta be Scarfed. He could also miss it. Ah, right, so you go Poison Jab again. Let's see. If he's not Scarfed, dude, I'm in great shape to win, possibly. Dodge! That's it. You got it. Ooh, if he missed that, dude. Oh, man. Oh, man. All right. GG, Nexus. You got it, dude. You got it. You got it. You got it. I mean, I'm going to mirror code here, but, like, I don't think it matters. He's going to see it now. Yeah, he's going to see it now. Good game. I'm just going to run, make him the, uh, give him a 2 0 win. I'm not gonna sit here and make him waste his time. Just give Jealous the kill, make it 2 0. And I can try to freeze him, but like, if I do, what does it matter? Maybe I can win this, hold on. Oh, he's just, that does like 20 damage, there's no way. <laughs> there's no way. We both have recovered, there's no way. I'm gonna actually recover here. I try to give him the. I'm, I'm gonna give him the win though. Like, there's no way in hell I ever kill him. No way in hell I ever kill him. I mean, I'll miracle for the LOLs, but like, only way I win if he brings in Rotom Mo for no reason. Only way. Or he crits me here. It's like 40 damage if he does. It's doing nothing, dude. Do nothing. Yeah. It's damage. It's damage. Yeah, he got I'm just gonna run. You got it, fair and square. He got it. Make it a 1-0 in his favor. I'm just gonna run away. I'm not gonna play it out. Nothing I can do. I have Mirror Coat, Skull, Recover, Ice Beam. I can freeze me a Skull, deforce myself. There's uh, nothing I can do. Nothing I can do here. Yeah, that's it. Alright, guys, I watch. I love you guys very much. Catch you later. Enjoy yourself. I'll see you next time. Tough battle, 1 0 loss, but it is what it is. Got too zesty. It happens. Much love, guys. I'll catch you next time.